Okay, hello everyone. I uh, will be speaking in English. <laughs> Why not? So I heard uh, someone uh, saying, um, why not be crazy? And um, exactly, why not be crazy? And in the same way, why not be wise? And there is this uh, sentence that says, uh, uh, no one can be wise uh, if before he hasn't experienced craziness. Because it's uh, the roots of wisdom are from uh, come from madness. Um, experience in this life, in this body, will bring you to have um, mm, to experience your body and your actions. And in order to understand your limits, um, sometimes you will act a bit crazy for other people. Um, when someone uh, wants to go beyond his limits. And this is when, this is why the essence of the word wisdom is, uh, comes from, is um, when someone has experienced his uh, life, his body, his uh, thoughts, his emotions, he naturally gets wisdom, gets um, experience and knowledge from his life actions, life activity. Because no one wants to feel pain, wants to be unhappy, and everyone tends to have a wanting of joy and a wanting of peace. But uh, words have a limited meanings and the only real knowledge is your own direct experience. This is why, as you see in the world, humans act uh, differently. Everyone has a different action, a unique action. And uh, depending on the stage of his uh, growth, if we can call it a growth, uh, he will behave in a different manner. So we can see uh, human beings uh, being born in the body, acting as babies when they are babies, and uh, they grow up, so they become a child, and then they start to mature, the size increase, Everything changes because the way a baby runs is not the same way a mature human uh, runs and thinks. And uh, so now we are here to give you an example. We are here and we know exactly what's happening. Everything is pretty intense in our mind. We know that the sun is shining. We know the names of everyone here, all the people around. We, we remember pretty clearly what we have done yesterday. <laughs> we purely have, we are focused on what we want to do tomorrow. We leave this space of, uh, this space of uh, play, of game, of changing, you know, what's going to happen until tomorrow. But what you have done last year, or maybe what you have done five years ago, or 10 years ago, it is lost in your memory. You need to really, really focus and to remember. And even if you remember, you will remember only small little bits, maybe some names, some faces, but the smells, the, the intensity of feeling now, the heat of the sun, all that has disappeared. So when we travel in life, 
having all these kinds of experience, day after day, minute after minute, we increase our experience and our knowledge. We are all grown up people. So we know we have done crazy things. And we know that from these crazy things we have learned a lot. A lot of knowledge came like, oh, yes, I've done it, I won't do it again. <laughs> or maybe, oh yes, I've done that, it was so nice, I'm going to do it again. So we understand what we want and what we don't want. And that is what we should call wisdom. So wisdom comes from uh, uh, directly your experience in life. This is why we say all the people are wiser. And uh, in ancient times, who would uh, take decisions for the tribe, for the people, would be the council of the sage, of the wise, wise men. <laughs> okay, so wisdom is knowledge. But it's, it's, not, it's different than it intelligence. Intelligence is the way your mind will act and react. It's the efficacy to, uh, to focus on something. It's a tool. Intelligence is a tool. Like if you want to count how many trees if you want to count something, if you want to rationalize. But wisdom comes from a deep experience, lost in your time, lost in your space. But that is every, is always awakened in you. So this is why you can encounter people that are older than you, that are apparently lacking wisdom. So this can happen, yeah, that somebody who is 20 years old will have a bit more wisdom than somebody who is 30 or, or 40, and it happens. For the reason that the amount of experience you will have and the quality of experience um, are different for each one of us. There's an old uh, Chinese uh, uh, saying that to make understand people how to live the life is to live with intensity. Intensity. So they say, if you want to be a lion, be a lion. Roar. If you want to be a bird, be a bird and fly. If you want to be a turtle, just be a turtle. Go slowly and be protected. And uh, we find this kind of wisdom, Chinese wisdom, ancient wisdom, they have a very beautiful way of talking about wisdom. Because they talk about the animals, the trees, the nature, be a mountain when you need to be a mountain. Be the flow of the river when you need to be smooth and be the wind when you need to be fast. Be the sun when you need to shine. Be the moon when you need to rest. <laughs> In the Bible, our friend Jesus says, I don't like people who are in the middle. You must be hot or cold. Just be. And this is uh, what we are. We are like um, forging, forging ourselves in this life. Like you forge a, a blade, you have the, the smith is going to forge the blade in the heat to melt the metal. And then when the blade is ready, he's going to put it in the, in the cold, in the ice, in the snow to stop it. And then it will be, it will be hard and nice and sharp and Okay, so this is what we are doing. We are we are getting sharper and sharper, <laughs> smoother and smoother. 
we are uh, having all our qualities are increasing, meeting other people, meeting other human beings, we exchange our qualities, we exchange our experience, and we all get better. So the idea of this gathering, the idea of this uh, meeting, this festival, is to meet ourselves and, and share our experience and, and, and learn from each other in a real way, not only by half real or 10% real, like via social medias, via a book or via, via YouTube. That is still good because it's still a sharing, you know, ancient times, you, people would use the voice to say story about someone on the mountain who stopped, who became a Brazilian. <laughs> or they would talk about these legends. Or they would uh, have a drawing on in a cave that would inspire other people coming. And this is how we communicated in the past. And then, uh, and then now we have all this technology available. And this is why we're here. It is thanks to this technology. And this technology exists because for the care of humanity, the care of brothers and sisters, to exchange, to communicate, and to share the information. How to be more peaceful, how to uh, be uh, more in life, and to be all together on this earth, on this planet. Because I want to remember that in some countries now, today, many people are unaware, they are not aware of um, the freedom that, that other countries have to walk peacefully in the road or even change country without being uh, arrested or violent. Uh, 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 suffering violence and um, so uh, so kind of violent things are still happening in the world and they because of the lack of communication because when you know with your mind that happiness is available for every, everyone and that uh, you are stuck in a belief system, everything is under control around you, you, you just don't, you can't imagine, you can't know, and this is uh, the state of slavery. So the state of slavery is a state of uh, belief system and a state of habits. And uh, to get out of the state of slavery, uh, people come, rise up, and uh, bring knowledge, bring uh, information, bring communication. And before they would do it with their own body, and now they do it with uh, the technology. So it's gone really fast. It's happening. So you can't hide uh, can't really hide anymore. <laughs> so this uh, knowledge is coming all over the world right now. I was with some friends uh, translating a, a Japanese uh, program where they, they used some uh, images of the uh, Pranic World Festival. And Japanese uh, are really... Uh, on main TV, they, they showed... Uh, the levels, they show the, the different stages of getting to a Brazilian state. And uh, so Japan is pretty close country, but even open to any, any kind of new, new, uh, new things now. China is opening and uh, it's happening. It's going, it's going uh, public, as you know, it's going worldwide. Uh, Italian national TV was here yesterday, and uh, <coughs> they have shot it. They're going to shoot a. They have shot a documentary, and it's going to be released in uh, after this summer. And uh, okay, 
So it's happening. So what is happening? <laughs> what 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 is about the the future? So it's about um, consuming. So consuming less, because when you go Brazilian, you're gonna consume much less food. You will increase your consciousness about what the food is needed for you. If it is needed as a belief system because your your habits, your parents, your family, your society has a, is obliging you to do it? Is it because you, um, you want to hide some emotional state? You want to hide some... Uh, you want to hide yourself a kind of truth that you don't know how you will handle it. And if you don't eat, it's going, you have the feeling it's going to just, uh, the truth is going to, it's going to come out and what's going to happen then. So fears, maybe. Because the same way people eat, um, the, the same way the people will, will also drink alcohol and we'll take drugs. And there's a sentence in, Fra in French and in Italian, they say, people drink to uh, forget the suffering, to forget the truth that they feel in their heart and that they are afraid to express because maybe if they express it, they can go to jail, they can, they can they're gonna be beaten up. And this is uh, in our history, it's, that was the truth, you know. Um, People talking about uh, uh, the true reality, about the love, about the Holy Spirit, about the about uh, freedom that were going against uh, principal rules of slavery, of society, of consuming, kind of disturbing people. Like um, in, they were just killed. They were, they were just put in jail, you know, and uh, but. This is evolving now. We are in a peaceful country, and and the the consciousness is allowing ha us to express. It's happening now. Um, these words we are speaking here are going to be put on YouTube channel, and they're going to be sent as a free information to the world. And this is how the information comes into the mind. Um, and by coming into the mind, it creates a reaction. It creates, a, it creates an effect. Because it's all about causes and effect. And that effect will have two main um, reactions. One is to not to see the effect and to try to hide it. This is why people uh, want to forget it. But it's like a seed that is inside of them, and it's going to grow. It's going to it's going to take a space, and when it will be the right time in the life, it will just bloom like a flower. I've seen people just uh, uh, hearing a conference, a talk about uh, living on light, uh, living on prana, and then they went on their regular life for 10 years and then 10 years after something happened to them and they didn't want to eat on that day they didn't have to do a process just happened to them naturally and they just went on liquids they just uh, stopped uh, eating solid food mm. so for some people you don't even need to uh, listen to anyone it just comes from higher higher consciousness spontaneously this is the first the first way it appeared in the world you know because we have this special consciousness that the animals don't have and this is why we are able to do that to manifest it it happens naturally in us it always happened since human beings exist so uh, now by the fact we are sending this information to everyone it's, it's going to happen and it's happening quicker and faster so the idea is to um, 
take this information information naturally don't force it and to let it happen softly and gently because we are not in a in a hurry we uh, we have a lot of time um time and space is something that is very different can change you can uh, you can have uh, some uh, days are going to be really quick days and some days are going to be really long and we are discovering now how time and space are connected to our consciousness so if you are peaceful inside of you if you are happy inside of you the time tends tends to slow down because there's no re reason to speed it up <coughs> because you are in joy and in the same way when you are not feeling happy inside and you are feeling a bit suffering or something is going wrong you are a bit agitated and you want you find time very long and you are a bit bored and oh, this is too long I want to do something else because your state is not a state of happiness you are in a state of suffering and your consciousness wants to just do something else something else something else something else something else something else until he finds the information this is why people look and search and this is why people travel and go around the world and this is why it is said that who is looking will find and when you find you find something that is not outside of you you find something that is already inside of you but you were not aware of it so now how to bring peace inside of you what is the cause and effect why should people suffer and why should people not suffer how how can that work you know what is the what is the secret <laughs> well it's really easy it's when you go brazilian you decrease your pain inside your body and by decreasing your pain you increase your happiness you decrease your pain because your organs are going to get healed are going to get healed because you're going to find your right harmony with your food and you're going to step aside the belief system to eat so many times a day that you need to eat so much in some countries depending on the country you are they say you need to eat five times in some countries you need to eat three times some countries you just need to eat once some countries organize fastings in europe we used to fast 46 days every year la quaresima for the six or single 44 it depends on the year i've seen it would depending on the pope he was he would change the number of days ramadan uh, the jains in india the, but in many countries they don't the nations don't organize anymore the, these fasting that would bring would bring benefit to people would bring peace and would uh, bring them healing so um i don't want to bring proof to anything just just if you want to have some uh, information just go on, on the oms on the on the world health organization just look at the, the data of uh, how humanity is uh, getting older or longevity and and people are decreasing in european countries 
because they are eating too much. <laughs> and so it's it's a serious uh, um, talk that we are having because we are talking about uh, uh, life and death. Because the more you suffer, the more you get closer to death, and the more you are in joy, and the, the more you get closer to life. So the idea is to bring our life better, bring more peace, go beyond our capacity, our usual capacity, and go to live over 100 years, and even further, having perfect harmony with food, and perfect harmony with life. So, um, to experience, um, to go Brazilian, you need to be gentle to yourself. You just can reduce the density of your food. Instead of having a heavy breakfast with uh, sausages, uh, pancake, bacon and eggs, every day, you can just, <coughs> one day you can just have a smoothie or have a coffee and a chocolate, a glass of water and catch up a bit later, you know. Just change your habit. Or maybe you can just do, and the next day you can have your bacon and eggs, you know, it's not a problem. Or you can have for lunch time instead of going on a, on a spaghetti pasta or just have a salad or just have uh, just have uh, half the pasta you had and just catch up in the evening, you know, if you want. Everyone has a different way. Some people like to have it in the morning, some people li like to have it in the evening. The way to, you want to have it, it's up to you, but you can experience this right now from where you are in the world just by changing your habits and saying, oh, Oh, maybe, maybe I could change something and, and feel a bit better, as they say, as uh, this guy there, Nicholas, is talking about, you know. Because the same way uh, Galileo, uh, they didn't give, uh, 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 they didn't listen to Galileo in the beginning because he sounded crazy talking about the earth being round and when everyone was knowing it was flat. But this was a true reality for our civilization in one period of our history. So for the same way, I would like to grab your attention on this, that uh, you can just go on internet, go on social networks, go on the bookstore, go and ask your friends, do you know about these guys living on light? Living on chi, living on prana. This guy, uh, they talk about not eating uh, or eating much less once a week, once every two days, once a day. And some of them, uh, like something impossible, you know, just not taking any calories anymore from the mouth. Maybe a bit of water. Since so many years that it's like barely impossible, you know, how can that reality exist? in this society with so much knowledge. Hmm? So the same way the knowledge was really strong in ancient history, and people would really believe that the earth would be flat when it was round. And so uh, what makes a belief system? Belief system exists because it's made about with habits. So your parents, your, your ancient generations know something and they're going to bring it to the new generations. And this is how the habit will pass on from human beings to human beings until the habit will be changed. And it's happening now, basically. This habit is changing, the belief system is changing. It doesn't need to change and it can't change from a day to another. You know, for Galileo, it took it took centuries, you know, because they didn't have the communication available, they didn't have uh, internet available. But now we have internet, <laughs> so it's happening from the people. It's happening from the from everyone, and it is for everyone, 
And the, the, the simpler you are inside of you, and the better it's going to work. So the more knowledge you have in your brain, and the less you can believe this. <laughs> because the habit of your information. So, you know, you, it's not about believing or not. It's about experiencing. So really, the people who are listening to me, please do not believe me. Let's do not do it all over again. The guy comes, he says something, people say, oh yes, that is the truth. No, no, no. The truth is only what is your experience. And your experience is what you're going to do in life, in your life. So have a strong life. Be proud of your life. So when you enjoy, be joyful. When you suffer, be suffering. When you want to be strong, be strong. When you are, want to be weak, be weak. But remember, whatever you do, it is just an experience. It's going to pass. It's going to stop and it's going to change and it's going to, it's going to be something else. The same way there's a blue sky, you know it's, going to last, it's not going to last blue. There's going to be eventually clouds coming. There's going to, going to be rain coming. The same way in your life, you're going to be high in joy and happy and then something is going to happen that is going to move your energy. And if your energy is moved and you're feeling down, like if it was raining or if it was snowing or if it was bad weather, kind of bad weather, it's going to change. The blue sky is going to come back. You're going to feel better. Whatever suffering you're going through, is not going to last. It's going to have an end. And from that suffering that you were having inside of you, you're going to get knowledge. You're going to get wisdom. You're going to get experience. And this will help you in your, in your life to have more happiness and more peace and to understand what you want and what you don't want. So to be a Brazilian, you need to have experience. You need to have uh, tasted abundance, suffering, a lot of emotions, high and low, and then you you just want to be. You just want to be peaceful. Let's call it the blissful. So the blissful state is something that is said. Oh, only saints can be blissful. Only certain people can be blissful. So the, the good news, the happy news is that the, the kingdom of heaven has come closer. <laughs> and by coming closer, it means the knowledge is coming closer. And, is, and as our friend uh, says, the kingdom of heaven is not in the sky where the birds will be there before you. But it's in you and all around you right now. So when you tap in, in the blissfulness state by bringing peace, more peace inside, you will uh, discover, and this is a discovery, you will find that you will feel that peace outside. Feeling inside, you feel outside. So when you, you feel s suffering, it's because inside of you something is not feeling good. Maybe it's an organ, maybe it's... Uh, it's too much food and probably everything is linked. And we know now that 80% or even more of all human problems are linked to food. Psychological problems, physical problems, aging. We know now that after many, many years of uh, scientific we research people who go vegetarian or vegan, they are having less density, less calories, and they feel happier. Uh, and in the same way, when you go beyond that and you maintain your level of happiness, this is really important. You don't go too quick, you listen to your body when you maintain your level of happiness, you find out that it's not about the type of food 
it's not about it's the density and the amount because if you have like um a piece of meat let's say a piece of chicken and 10 kilos of bananas it's like there's 10 kilos maybe 1 kilo should be the the right size you know the right density there's a matching <coughs> a matching in the in the density that is matching your body if you put too much density in your body you will lower down your vibration and if your body doesn't have enough density and gets too light you will lack that vibration you you will lack that density that harmony so there is a correct amount that is always changing so no one can say to you you should do this you should do that because even if it could be true one day the day after is something else happening in you because you don't have it the same moment happening again and again nothing is everything is moving in the universe so one day the temperature is going to move the, the your thoughts are going to are going to change everything is changing and in the same way your amount of food that you need to take changes so this seems uh, makes sense and then you need to understand that maybe this morning you can skip breakfast because you don't feel like and if you feel you want it maybe it's a habit then so try to look at it and try to see how that habit can change how you can change that habit for example when you feel in a state of love and you're thinking to an event or to someone and sometimes you can skip lunch skip breakfast skip dinner and you're feeling good even you're feeling even better so there are there are all these states of consciousness that will change your level of energy every day your level of energy because you are energy we are energy because remember what is a human body it's it's made of atoms the atoms will make the cells and the cells will make the body the cells will make uh, the microphone the cells everything is made of atoms there's no way wherever you are now in the universe there's no empty space in between me and you einstein says that it's all a field of energy and we call that the quantum the quantum field it's a quantum united field because it is not one dimension it is multidimensional and our scientists today that worked with quantum physics are discovering that time and space uh, is something that can really change depending your consciousness I won't get too much in these details because I'm not a scientist. So your level of energy, your level of happiness is always evolving depending on the experience you are having. And depending on the amount of income because you are having energy. When I'm talking about a piece of chicken or a salad or a fruit or a hot chocolate, we are talking about energy atoms that you're putting in yourself and nothing is dead or nothing is alive everything is atom so how can you say a, an atom is dead or an atom is alive it's just a different state of frequency a different state of vibration of density i know some ancient stories about uh, uh, chinese uh, brazilians they would put some stones in their mouths. Pebbles. A few pebbles a day. That's it. I still must investigate on that because I, I'm. <laughs> but just because I've never done it, sounds amazing. Pebbles. Sassolini. Des cailloux. Petit cailloux. They eat them.
So we are just at the beginning of a new civilization. Because just think like this, and this is how I thought when I first have seen the documentary, as you are listening to me now, um, myself seven years ago, I've, I've listened to a documentary, and I was like you now listening to me, and said, oh, this guy is crazy. The documentary is like, wow. The guy who, who did that also also uh, so incredibly well done, you know, because it seems real. It seems real. So my mind was was going in conflict because I said it's impossible that this is possible. But in the same way, I need to investigate, and this is what I did seven years ago. I investigated, and there was there was some uh, books available, some YouTube people, many people, and all these people were were all in different uh, countries, talking different language, coming from different cultures, experience, experience, old people, young people, different works. So it was like uh, something was happening. And then I went to look at history. Oh, in history, there were existing people already in this state, in every civilization. And I took information. And I said to myself, okay, now how to start, you know? And there was this book, this book of uh, Jasmine, and Jasmine is a Brusserian that 25 years ago wrote a book, How to Live on Light. And there was this process, a 21-day process. And, uh, and I said, oh, yeah, I'm going I'm to do this. And uh, I, was a, I, was a, I like to have new experience. Um, so I did it with, a, with, a f with my girlfriend. Uh, she, uh, she didn't do it, but she took care of me because you, you mustn't do that alone. You need to have somebody with you that can help you because you're going to be weak. You're going to feel weakness. Because when you change your energy, you can feel weak. But if you can be gentle in this weakness and let it happen, you will eventually find a new strength. Because it's true that uh, food gives energy. But when it is too much in our body and our body gets tired about it, it will create a conflict and it will create what we call suffering. And it will create illness and it will create premature aging. So the idea is to feel safe. So this process exists Many processes exist now during all over the world. I, w I wanted just to share you my experience that you don't need to have any kind of process, short process. You don't need to fast. You just need to take information in your consciousness. You need to think about it really carefully. Because when you do something with your body, you think it's only about you but you're going to move so much energy around you that it's like if everyone around you will be doing it. Try to imagine. You never smoked any cigarettes and one day you go back to your family, you're young and, and you smoke a cigarette, a cigarette in front of your mother and your father. They're going to say, hey, hey, what are you doing? They're going to be scared maybe they're going to ask you why because the same way you're doing something you're you're projecting what you're doing on the others this is why if you start this was only an example with the cigarettes but if you start not eating in the morning or at lunchtime when you are with your family or with your boyfriend or with your friends it's going to be it's going to feel strange it's going to feel a bit different so this is why think about it before take information be gentle and then slowly it has to be slowly happening you need to check your energy level it can take uh, months years no one is in a rush you don't become a Brazilian after a process of 21 days, after a 10-day process. 
you just slowly and gently understand what is why you are taking food, what is the reasons. So you can talk with your family, you can talk with your girlfriend, you can talk with your friends, you can talk with your doctors, you can talk with your science. Talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> And remember, it's not about becoming Brazilian, it's about increasing your level of joyfulness. So if something makes you happier, then it's good. Something is maybe good about it. But if you feel unhappy because you're not having your friends anymore, maybe your family is not talking to you, your girlfriend is going to leave you, what's the reason you're doing that? You're pushing too much. Is that also a habit? So think about it. Take time. Use the wisdom you have. And if you don't know, if you want a quick answer and you don't know how and you're getting agitated, just find a place in nature, under a tree, sit down and do like the Buddha, you know, Buddha. Mm. Enter meditation. Close your eyes. Breathe. Relax. Let the mind unfold. The monkey mind is going to be really agitated. A lot of things are going to happen in your mind. You're going to feel stupid. You're going to feel, what am I doing? People are looking at me. Oh my God, I'm meditating. Why, 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 why? Let it happen. Just relax. And your mind will slowly become peaceful. A few minutes, five minutes. Don't need, don't need much. And you're going to tune in this new space, a space inside of you, a new space that you can play around with. You can make it increase, decrease. Only a few minutes a day, it's enough. Take a breath. Remember, the mind is nothing is real in the mind. It's only blah, 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 blah. It's like a monkey. And then, when you enter this space of peacefulness, something will happen. And this is up to you to discover. But the idea is to start somehow, some way. The most uh, difficult start is the first step. First step on the journey. A journey of changing, a journey of discovery, your journey. So now there are many events in the world, festivals happening, where you can find other people doing this, changing uh, their way of consciousness. You can many places in the world. And uh, it's about changing habits, means changing maybe some friends. You know, I used to smoke cigarettes. And... Uh, I recognized that I was smoking to be with the friends I liked. They were smoking, so I wanted to be with them, so I was smoking to be with them. And But for me, it had a different effect, and I was feeling uh, the effect of the cigarettes that were burning my lungs, burning my throat, and were not giving me enough happiness. At least not enough anymore to stay with my friends, and then I stopped smoking. Because I knew my body was... Uh, suffering from it. My friend changed. Other friends came in that they were not smoking and everything was perfect. So y there will be moments if in your life where you will be feel a bit strange, a bit lonely. Don't worry. It's part of the journey. If you're not able to be happy alone, how can you happy? Can you be happy with humanity, you know? So it's a good experience for, for some days, some weeks, some months. 
you change habits, you change some friends, and uh, don't be afraid. Most important thing is don't put yourself in danger. Keep you, keep you yourself in life. Do just some crazy things, but not too crazy. Just enough to have the experience, and then take a time to let the knowledge settle. And that knowledge will settle and will transform in wisdom. And that wisdom will be your, your guidance in your life to know if you need to repeat that experience or not. So this is why don't rush on a process, don't rush on an experience because maybe you're not ready, maybe it's going to be too strong and maybe it's going to leave a memory that is going to be too strong, too suffering memory. So it's about feeling joy. I used to do martial arts, a lot of sport. I was afraid I was living in the city of Paris. You live in constant fear of being attacked at night. And uh, I was, I said to myself, I need to know how to fight to defend. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's not sustainable. What is sustainable is to understand what are the causes of an effect. So I don't want to fight, why should I oblige myself to learn how to fight to defend? Can't there be any other ways, sustainable way for humanity not to be obliged to fight and to defend? And this is uh, why I went away from the city of Paris, went to nature, and to experience another way of living with no expectation, but just that I was done, I was enough with a certain lifestyle and I wanted to experience another lifestyle. And this brought me a lot of uh, experience to be in nature and to understand how nature works and how many people in the cities don't know how nature works. Because in the schools and society, so many people don't have that opportunity to n understand with their own experience, not only with the books, how nature works. Because you can only understand some things if you, if you really have the experience of living in nature, being with nature, and not only in the city, living with the city and being a slave of the city. So uh, it's true that nature, you will also um, can become slave of nature. And this is exactly what happened to our civilization. We were living on nature, we were slave of nature, and then the city came like a magic uh, possibility, the money came, the system we're having now came from our own experience, because nature was too suffering, but now the city are becoming too suffering because um, the world is no longer more sustainable. It means it's a finished world. We have so many resources. We have so many mountains, so many woods, so many water, so many air. And uh, we know now that the knowledge is uh, becoming uh, wide because of the information, the system of communication and the problems we have on the other part of the world, uh, pollution problems, consuming problems, wars, they are affecting all of, all of us in the world. And I discovered then a Brazilian way of living. It means consuming much less food. I consume one meal a, one meal a week now, mediumly. When I have a, I can go once a month, um, I enjoy still some food. Uh, I know I could go on just a liquid food, um, but I, I still share some solid food. Um, if humanity would 
um, and humanity is going to do it in the future because it's uh, it's a much more happier way to to live. It's going to happen slowly, but we are going towards that. We are going towards a Brazilian world. Um, this happens because we just need to to make it happen. Because otherwise we are going to die earlier because we are consuming everything, or there will be war. War means that uh, people will come to take over another country and consume the goods of the country. And this is exactly what happened even uh, in our history. It was based on, on, on war and consumption. So for uh, a nation to, to evolve, to be stronger, they needed to eat. And, um, and to eat, they needed to control control the land, control the, the food, control the animals, and to expand. But now you, you can't expand because, uh, and it's crazy because it's based on the laws of strong and weak. I'm stronger than you. And as we see, civilization never lasted long. Roman Empire lasted uh, maybe a thousand, year, a thousand years, all in all. But it's, it doesn't work. Uh, so uh, better civilization worked much longer, like a, a nomadic civilization, uh, living with animals, with nature, moving around, like uh, North, North American Indians, natives, as they call them. And they lived more than thousands, thousands of years in that way, not not taking the ground in hostage, not building houses, not having uh, garbage, not having ruins, uh, just having, okay, we are here, come next month and we're gonna move and you're gonna take the, the space. Not being obliged to stay in a hot cold in the winter or in the, in the hot sun in the summer because you move. Have the free freedom to move it's too hot here, let's go down there. So this couldn't happen anymore in Europe and couldn't happen in many countries because of the wars that were happening. Because some nations, based on very low knowledge, wisdom knowledge, would come and conquer and say, laws are really going to change and they're going to be like this, we're going to build a wall, we're going to build a city, we're going to do this and we're going to... We are going to have this madness trip and so madness is necessary to have wisdom remember what, what I said in the beginning so it's like our civilization was in a kind of crazy madness state for many many thousands of years and now we need to get out of it and we need to change it and it's not going to happen one day, one day to another. It is going to happen gently, with no kind of revolution. Yes, we need to change now. The change comes from inside of you, wherever you are. It's a peaceful change. It's up to you to say yes or no. It's up to the freedom of everyone to choose the way of slavery or the way of freedom. It's okay if you eat, it's okay if you have a hard work, it's okay if you want to do something. But it's also okay not to have that wanting. It's also okay to reduce, if you want, your way of eating. It's okay to change your lifestyle. I live in a, in a wigwam now, I live in a tent. I reduced my possessions to... I have a capacity of living with uh, less of 100 euros a, a month. That is still a lot for some countries. But it's like, it's for society now, it's not acceptable. You know, it's like more than the lowest level of poorness. Reducing your needs, you reduce, you're increasing your happiness. This is important. If you reduce your needs, if you don't increase your happiness, don't reduce your needs because you will have more suffering. But then it's up to you. Everything is perfect under the sky and on this earth.
right. So I'm going to open for to some questions now because it has been an hour of talking and we still have some uh, quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. So uh, I would be happy to answer your questions. Who wants to start? Good. It's a good sign. <laughs> because I don't like to answer questions. <laughs> because each time I answer, I answer a question, it means um, someone is asking. And if no one is asking, then uh, it's perfect. I, uh, it's like we're on the same level. Oh, Remy, please. Bonjour Amy. Merci. Euh, moi, ma question, euh, ce serait euh, à propos du self guiding. Ah oui. Donc, euh, qu'est-ce que tu, est-ce que tu as pratiqué euh, <rire> Est-ce que, euh, est que tu peux euh, nous donner quelques techniques éventuellement euh, Voilà. Ok. Merci. 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 Thank you for this question. It's about sun gazing and uh, what I think about and what are, could be the techniques I could share with you about that. Mm. Um, well, I never really practiced uh, sun gazing uh, much. I did it a bit in the beginning of my journey because in, when you start, you, you want to look what is available, uh, what are the techniques available to increase your 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 light increase your consciousness increase uh, your happiness and sun gazing is a is a very famous uh, ancient technique um, i discovered in my journey now that uh, started seven years ago that there are many different ways uh, to sun gaze uh, you have uh, one of the most uh, beautiful way of sun gazing i i i heard about was a uh, daryl daryl brown a Brazilian that uh, explained that he was sun gazing at night and eyes closed. And I said, yes, I like that. Because the sun is always there. The sun is always there. It's maybe not directly in front of your eyes, but it, it, the energy of the sun is always there around you because we are in, a, in the solar system. And... Um, and I found that incredible because like that you don't focus your consciousness on just the daylight or the, the day of the, the sun in the, during the day, but you can also bring your consciousness to, to the sun in any moment, any instant, and wherever you are in the universe, and you can pick other suns, all the stars are suns. Um, so now to come that to come back to the normal technique of sun gazing, it's the technique to look to the sun uh, with your open eyes and you need to start uh, gently and smoothly and then you can increase day after day. Um, it's better to have that practice when you are already on a, on a Brazilian path. It means you are, you are not, you're already clean in your body and you don't have much toxins. Because the toxins in your body are going to be in your eyes also. And what is actually is going to damage you is the, the burning of the toxins in your eyes. And this is what is going to happen on your body, actually. People have sunburns because of the toxin on the skins and on the body. When your body is really clean, you can basically... Uh, sometimes I just look at the sun at midday and I just see the sun and I tune in the sun and it's not hurting me. If I do that the day after I have a meal, it's going to be really different. The sun is going to be really... I'm going to feel the strength and I'm going to feel my eyes a bit uh, painful. And it's going to have a different effect. So the way you are in your body is the way you can accept the sunlight that is really, really strong. So it's, it can be dangerous, so be careful. Take information of us when you do sun gaze. But um, the sun is a, is a living being made of prana. Remember, everything is made of atoms. 
and the pranic energy life force the chi is in the atom so it it is the life force that activates everything so the sun is basically like a body it's a huge body but it's still made of the same substance that you are so uh, you don't need that to have uh, more increase you just need to focus on yourself who you are you are atomic energy you are the same substance of the sun you are the same substance of the universe so you can what people used to believe is that it would be only the sun that would give that energy but actually the updating the top technology of the human being that i think is brusselianism right now top technology of human being is to understand that everything is already here you don't need nothing more you just need to let go and to tune in this space of here and now and everything is here and the more you tune out this space of here and now and the less you and the more you will lose the the connection of the moment because love how can you be in love tomorrow love is now it can only be now it's a state so if you think about the sun and you're waiting for for the sun to come out to have the sun the energy of the sun you're post posting your energy you are giving a schedule to something this is why uh, now every situation for me is the same i'm not i'm not i'm really happy to be here with you i could do that end endlessly in the same way i could i could maybe do hard work endlessly whatever i do is perfect whatever i do is what i should do whatever i do is my nourishment who i am in the here and now is is me is only me who am i that is the question and i think there is no answer but here and now is is everything so i am you you are me we are already in the perfection so some people ask me how are you feeling how are you doing and i always answer i um, can't be better than this and i sometimes i say how could i be better than this whatever is happening to me even if um i uh, i don't know i have a pain in my hand it's perfect that pain is my nourishment seems easy to say okay but this is the idea and this is what i'm tuning in as as a space of consciousness and this is when you are in this consciousness of here and now you don't need any external techniques you don't need any external food so it's true sometimes my mind gets out of my center and sometimes i go and have some food this happens but it's a journey it takes some time to understand who each one of you is really and we are not only our name we are not only our body we are not only our mind we are not only our neurons here we are not only our neurons in our heart we are also pure energy and each one of our atoms has a kind of consciousness you know and we are kings and queens of a kingdom and if this kingdom is not finished with my body and there are atoms everywhere so we are our consciousness is everywhere so yes you can focus on sun gazing and even not and it's okay to to look at the sun and to be grateful to the sun that brings us a lot of good things but first of all it's your consciousness be grateful to yourself happy with yourself just wanted to say something that um is written uh, somebody asked uh, a famous man why how to pray and how to fast and that man said i i why should should i fast what have i done have i done wrong what did i do wrong to fast okay because fasting 
has an energy of you've done something wrong, you're going to fast. And he said, why should I pray? Because everything is already here. So be careful at your questions, be careful at your praying, be careful at each word that you say. The meaning of your words. Where they come from, why are you saying them. It's beautiful, it's a, it's a beautiful journey of a ra rising consciousness, rising awareness. All right, so let's say, does anyone want to say something now? Or have a question or just share an experience? Yes, please, Christine, correct? Hello. A few days ago, I was right there uh, where the restaurant is, and I was looking at the nature, and I was thinking to myself, you know, um, what a privilege it is to be here, uh, looking at this nature, being here with all these people who are, let's say, 10, 20 years in front of their time. Uh, to get all of this information, being 10 days here, barefoot in the nature, being in contact with nature, which I do not normally have the opportunity uh, in my daily life, uh, for that kind of, you know, small money that I paid for this, and 10 days, you know, constant information, workshops, and I thought to myself, this is really a gift, you know, how did I deserve it? This is really... And I would like to thank Nicholas. And I would like... Thank you. Okay, so, uh, well, I, I really would like to, to thank you, all of you, mm, to be here. Because uh, without you, I couldn't be here. And uh, you, you make, I said that already to some of you, but uh, uh, you make me useful. Okay? If you wouldn't be here, it would be it would be uh, the same happiness for me. But it's about doing the right thing. So I was seeing uh, that n nobody was organizing these kinds of events. And uh, I said, I'm going to start, I'm going to try. And, uh, and it happened, and it's happening now. So um, um, really, each one of you for me is so important because I see myself through you, each one of you. Thank you so much. <laughs>